Hi, I'm Ellen with Text Nation TV, and today we'll be unboxing the Nest Learning Thermostat 2. Alright, so here it is, the Nest Learning Thermostat, second generation, so, so supposed to be a little easier to install, but we'll see that coming up. Alright, let's get her open. And this product costs a little more money, so I won't be using a key, I'll be actually using a blade. Plastic off here. Get rid of that. As always, everything comes with two or three boxes until you get to the unit. Oh. That was nice of them. Put a little extra tape there. And there it is. Look at that. That looks better than any Honeywell that you've seen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just set that out of the way inside here so we don't scratch it. We've got a holder. Inside your instructions. Of course it being Nest. One of the create uh, one of the designers that designed the Apple iPod actually um, helped help design this. So of course the literature and everything is going to be spectacular. All right, and inside are the components. That's going to be your wall mount, and they've said they made it easier so that you can just put your green wire at your green, your W1 wire at your W1 your RC at your RC. As you can tell, I'm not HVAC certified, but we'll figure this out in the installation parts. They give you a, a nice screwdriver and some screws and so And also, since most of our thermostats are rectangular, they give you this plate so you can hide the screws, but I don't want this on my wall, so we're just gonna put it right on the wall and then and then we'll just uh, sandpaper over and paint it and make it look good. And another mounting plate and more screws. So that's it. That's the Nest Learning Thermostat 2nd Edition. And stay tuned and we're going to install this baby. Alright, with any electrical installation, should always shut off the power to the unit. Oh, well, maybe not the entire house since uh, we do need the light. There we go, HVAC off. All right, so now we have the power cut off to the house. We have the unit turned off. We're gonna take off the cover. All right, the instructions tell us to check for unnecessary jumper wires and what kind of wiring we have. And it looks like on this one, I don't see any jumpers. So it looks like we can just take these wires out, take off the base and start the installation. All right, so now it's time to remove these wires and remove the plate and the people at Nest were gracious enough to provide us with a tool to do that. So let's get started. Alright, before I begin removing these wires, as you see they're labeled underneath, which is what the HVAC installer did for me already, so I don't know if I pull these out of the wall, you know. Even though that wire's red, is it RC or is it just R? So they were gracious enough also to provide with stickers, with labels. So I'm going to pull these wires out, label them, then pull off the plate. wires labeled and removed. It's time to take off the plate. Alright, now here's where you find out what's actually behind everything. Apparently the person who installed our thermostat control needed a lot of room. So what I'm going to do is I'm still going to install it because if I don't have heat, my wife's going to throw me out. So we're going to install it, then I'm going to take it off, fix the drywall, and we'll show you a finish shot later. 
But for now, let's continue. All right, so we take the base here, put the wires through, and find where you want it. That looks about as center as I want to get with the wires I have here. And they include a level. So we know we're dead on. And it comes with two screws. is to connect the wires. All right, we are not using the orange one with my unit, so we'll just get him out of the way. We'll get him separated here. All right, so if you labeled them earlier, you just connect them in. And the next second generation now has these push tabs. So all you gotta do is put the wire through and it locks right on. No screws needed. All right, be sure to check. We got tight connections everywhere. And we do. And also with the second generation, as you see, we didn't use all of these because we don't have everything in our HVAC unit, but you can have some that have humidifiers, dehumidifiers, second stage heating, third stage heating, gas, pretty much the second generation now you can cover pretty much anything that you can throw at it. All right. Next is the crown piece here. It is the head unit. And it should just slide right into place and click. And there we are. Pay no attention to the sides here, but right now the nest is on the wall. Let's turn on the power and see if it works. Power is restored. And let's watch. All right, so right now it's cycling through its home screen and checking your connection and looking for a Wi-Fi signal to set up as well. All right, here we go. And we're going to set it up here with our language. We're going to do English, confirm choice, yes, our internet connection, or all its own location. Well, let's go ahead and do that then. just getting nosy but we are a multi-family or let's stick with single family yeah we're not multi-family how many thermostats only this one when was the home built or remodeled technically it was built in the 20s but this house went through a flood now it's updated let's, let's go with 2010s why not I'm sure we can change this um, let's leave that nest. Let's do our internet connection. Connect. Searching for a Wi-Fi signal. There we are.
thermostat is online. Of course there's updates, it's going to take about an hour, so find something better to do. All right, we set up language, we set up the internet connection. Let's go to heating and cooling. Are you a professional little Nest installer? Yes. Why not? Um, okay, it's actually detecting the wires that we install. That's, that's pretty smart of it. <laughs> so we'll continue. All right, so showing installed is heating, cooling, and fan. That's all we have. What is the fuel source for heating? We're gas. What type of heating do you have? Forced air, indoor radiant, radiators. We have forced air. All right, we set location. Now temperature. Should Ness begin by heating or cooling your home? Oh, it's winter. Let's go heating. What are the lowest and highest temperatures would you like to set when you're away? So here's where Ness gets into the, uh, the learning part of it and where it's going to actually save you money in the long run. Um, so after all that's done, add Ness account. So uh, we've already downloaded that app, set up a Ness account, which we'll, sh we'll show you how to do that afterwards. So go ahead and add me. Now it's going to talk. So 20,000 miles into space, bounce off a satellite somewhere, I'm guessing, in Palo Alto. And there we are. So here heat is set to 60. Or oh, we can make it hotter. Make it cooler. And the leaf here is important. What the leaf is, it's set to a temperature that it thinks that we're going to be comfortable at, but we won't know that the thermostat's been changed. So say we enjoy it being 67. Leaf's going to go, okay, 67's good. But how about 65? I think you'll still enjoy that. Save money. That's what that leaf means. It's saving you money. Let's check out some other settings. So here we got like a pinwheel selection. So we can set our temperature if we're going to go on a trip. Here's energy. It needs more time. We just installed this so it's got to learn. It's a learning thermostat. So when it learns a little more, then it'll get us back to that. schedule. I don't want to get involved in all this, but you can really just get down to the time of day, the days of the week. I mean, you can really just set this thing for every hour a different temperature. All right, so I'm glad you uh, suffered through this installation process. It's a learning experience for me and my thermostat, which you can see is in sleep mode, but it's got a sensor here that when you walk by, it kicks right back on and lets you know that I'm at a comfortable 64, and let's go to 59 so we can save a little money. And it's also locked, so my wife wants to go back up to 80, she's not going to do it. But we went from this ugly thing to this beautiful thing. And ignore this, we'll get that fixed up, but I think you should get one. I'd give it a, a two thumbs up. It's something that um, it's going to adapt to us, help us save money save energy, and when I sell this house, this is coming with me. So thanks for watching us unbox and install the Nest Learning Thermostat second generation. And you can pick up the first generation on Black Friday for $149. The only difference between the second generation and the first generation is the second generation has a thicker bezel and it can't control two-stage, three-stage heating, which I'm sure most of us don't have a problem with that. But thanks for sticking, um, sticking with me here. Be sure to follow all of our unboxings at textnation.tv.